how to create this logo on your mobile without downloading a 3d mockup that's what this video is all about it, it all starts with canva it ends up with photopea but there's no need to download a 3d mockup so let's go to canva and create this logo so from your canva app select logo and choose a blank logo what you would then do is you're going to look for a cup graphic so it's going to show us templates we're going to minimize the templates and then we're going to click on this plus sign and we're going to look for coffee and we we are particularly looking for a cup of coffee that is a graphic so we're going to say coffee and then we look for a cup of coffee that's graphic this one once it's selected as you can see the color of the cup itself is black you click on color at the bottom of the page and you change that to brown so you can search for color brown and wait for canva to give you different colors of brown that you would like to use i want to use this one and you close your color and you're happy again you click on your plus sign and you look for the beans now it's still coffee you select these beans and then you make them small and size them on the cup itself next you're going to add text so you're going to click on the plus sign button and you're going to close the elements and then you're going to look for text so at the bottom of the page where the menu shows you select text and you choose your text so this heading text is fine so in order to have the curve effect you would highlight on the text at the bottom of the page go look for effects at the effects you select shape and it would show you the none or the curve so you select the curve it would show you the settings um, on on top of the effect itself so you click on settings in order for you to have the effects the way that you would like them so we would move the effect of the curve to say about 80 and then move it a little bit above and then click on the bottom text do exactly the same go look for effects select shape select curve and then click on curve and then curve it the other way around and then move that to the bottom of the page to align it like that and your uh, design is almost finished you click on the plus sign and this time we're not looking for text we're going to go to elements we're looking for the star so you can type star and search for the star and put in the star that you would like to add on there i liked this one and then i'll change the color make that silver as well and then duplicate that to put it on the other side of the cup and there's your design once you're done you click on the down arrow and it, it's going to download with the background so if you have a background remover you need to upload the picture if you're using the app if you're on the desktop you can immediately take off the background if you're on the canva pro version if you're not unfortunately you can use um, software like remove.bg to take off the background once it's taken off like this you're good to go You've downloaded you've removed your background then you're going to jump onto photo p now you're on photo p the cool thing about photo p is that it has templates so there's no need for you to download the 3d mockup if you're going to be using the mockups that are available on photo p you can still download all sorts of mockups to make your design cool 
but I just wanted to help the people that have asked so many times to say that I can't download this mockup. I've loaded it for you on photo P. So when you open the PSD templates, it will open up categories like you see on the screen. Click on where it says mockups. It's going to show you the mockups that have been loaded on photo P that you can use. The one that I've downloaded for us is the first one that says 3d glass window so you just click where it says 3d glass and then it would load the mock-up then you're going to select this link that says photo p you just open that link and then photo p will load the template for you which helps you not to download if you're struggling with downloading this particular mock-up i'm gonna load a bit more mock-ups and I'll show you how to also load more mockups. In any case, tell me on the comments below if you want me to load, if you want me to um, show you how to load mockups on Photo P. Lovely. The mockup is loaded successfully. You're gonna click where it says three lines where it needs to show us the layers, the channels, and the paths. And double click where it says your logo with the squares. You just double click on there. And it loads the mock-up with the fonts as you can see and then you click on the eye to hide the inspiring B text you then click on the three layer lines with the layers so that you can access your mock-up you're gonna go file open in place and you're gonna go to your files where you've saved your 3d logo uh, that has a removed background you just click on it once and then it loads on the mock-up itself then you click and you hold you've sized it on the canvas itself you're gonna go file save as smart object and you wait for the lines to go away and the tool to convert to smart object Once it has converted to smart object, you just stick on 3D glass and you wait for Photo P to convert it into a 3D logo. And voila, your logo is done, converted, and it looks awesome. If you want to take away the black light, you click on the layers again and you hide the black light. Click on the layers so that it gives a nice, beautiful light color. If you want to download it, you go File, Export as either a PNG or a JPEG, and then you save it to your gallery on your phone. And don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate the content so that YouTube can show to as many people as possible. Thank you for spending time with me, and also don't forget to like the video. See you next time. Thank you.